Hey folks, welcome back to some more Fate's Granddaughter. On our last episode, we viewed the prelude and got quite a bit of Mashi's backstory out of it. So, with that we did bit in mind, let us continue henceforth with the first note of this singularity at the Sandstorm Desert. And I think we'll be bringing our guest servant to this as well. As it does cover all bases for the classes that we're going up against. Neat. And if ours comes to ours, I could always just swap in Tammy. Or Chloe. Oh, it's Sang Sang. So, there you have it. Thank you for everything, fellows of the round table. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why is everyone looking so serious all of a sudden? Did I say something wrong? All I said was, I'm getting bored of this town, so I'm taking my leave, right? Of course. In other words, Shing Sang Sang Sun, you just announced that you were breaking away from us. Why does it have to be like that? I have no intention of becoming your enemy. I mean, I only meant to make a brief stop here, you see? I'm on my way back from Jianshu, and I have to get home. And what I'm saying is that we cannot believe that, Shing Sang Sang Sun. You're already a servant, meaning there's no point for you to repeat actions taken when you were alive. But as her journey to the West, you have no reason nor responsibility to go back home. In fact, your home doesn't even exist in this world. So please, enlighten me. Where exactly are you going? Oh, come on. It's nothing material like that. I'm simply following my heart. My purpose is to go home. I am a monk whose worth is in the steps I've spent on my journey, and I get really lonely without my disciples. Yes, I do find the city amazing. It's peaceful, prosperous, beautiful, and no one is hungry. I'm sure that this is what people mean when they speak of utopias. Thank you very much. It makes us proud to hear you say that. For that very reason, Lady Sang Sang, I must ask you, is staying in this castle not an option? Thank you, Gawain. I love how chivalrous you are to women. But please, let it go. This is just who I am. I'm going to start off by going to the desert. Oh, I'm taking Toto with me, alright? Now then, thank you for everything you've done for me. Bye bye. Ciao. Zaijin. And there she goes. How unfortunate. That woman was truly like the sun. Her presence alone lit up the whole place. Really? I actually feel relieved. Never liked her. So, what you gonna do, Agravine? You know no one is supposed to leave the castle without father's approval. Wait, that's Agravine? Oh, neat. It's not one of the rules of this round table. Besides, she's a pain in the ass. That uh, grumpy looking fellow with the black hair. Yeah, that guy. That's Agravine. Hey, I haven't seen you before. This is all new territory for me when it comes to fate. I agree with you, Mordred. However, the king has already granted approval. That no one should, shall stop Xing Zhang Sang Sun if she says she is going to leave the castle. You gotta be kidding! It's such a perfect chance to stab her in the back. Oh well, that desert is ruthless. She won't survive by herself. Don't you agree, Triss? Hey, stay still alive there, you bastard! <gasps> uh, pardon me, I wasn't asleep, by the way. Please, continue your conversation. Don't mind me. Oh, Sue, if you wish to have a conversation about women, you should talk to Lancelot instead. Cheeky. Ah, oh, how very sad indeed. He is the one more experienced with love. So, Agravine, as his adjutant, only you can speak to the king directly. Did the king say anything else? About the holy city? About how we are protecting it? Know your place. The king has no words for the likes of you. Only your loyalty is required of you. Yes, Xing Sang Sang Sung is a foreigner. However, she was not the traitor that the starseer prophesied. That is all. When the foreign star shines, the bonds of the white wall crumbles, the king's power wanes, and the divine tower falls. What a beautiful and sad poem. Yes, if it is required of me, I can still go after her now. The king has spoken. 
Leave Xing Sang Sang Sung be. What you should be worrying about are any foreigners arriving next. The burden of protecting humanity is surely heavy. Soon, the last master of this world shall arrive. The king has instructed us not to show disrespect to our guests. However, the king bears the responsibility of shouldering the entire world. We will deal with all of the trivialities ourselves. Is that understood, all brave knights of the round table? I expect true loyalty from all of you. Hmm. Oh. Ha. <sighs> Eh? Master, please come over here. You will get blown away if you stand there. Oh no, no, sandstorm! Gonna fail! 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 Fall! My eyes! My eyes! <laughs> Is this Jerry Salem? Gosh, we should have brought goggles! This can't be Jerusalem! There are sandstorms everywhere! Master, Da Vinci, please get behind that boulder. Another gust is coming. Okay, behind those mysterious bones, right? Wow, this is as big as a dragon kins! Anyway, did you get in touch with Roman? He better be working on an apology for this kind of miscalculation! The communication with Chaldea is unstable. I'm sure the doctor is working on resolving it. This sort of thing always happens. Nothing we can do. Well, this place is right, EX. Precisely, Master. Let's assess the situation by ourselves for now. The ray shift was successful. Our target location was supposed to be the 13th century Middle East. However, we ended up in the middle of a sandstorm. Is it coming for Jerusalem of this era? We got sent too far into the past. Boy, do I have a special punishment in store for Romani when we get back. Wait, um, this era? If this is a different era, then give me a minute. Let me run over some data. Foo, foul, fun! Fair's going wild too. That's out just now. Master, it's a hostile life form. Something is emerging from the sandstorm. Visibility could be worse, but prepare for battle. For now, let's just make sure we're safe. Okay, leave it to me. Let me show you my omnipotence, my universal wisdom. It's a horrible location for a maiden battle, but hey, think of it this way. The ultimate beauty remains even in a sandstorm. Be dazzled by the secret weapon of the universally gorgeous Secretary 7, Da Vinci-chan. Alright then. That, that, that was a speech, my lady. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is about, because there's two of the knight classes, plus one cavalry class. Oh, some gazers. And this is a predicament right now, so what is Da Vinci's skills? You've got apply to buff movement and restore HP per turn, increase MP gauge per turn, okay. You've got guts, I presume? No, this is kind of like Imperial Wisdom. I guess it can also give gusts. Imperial wisdom, imperial privilege. Whoopsie. Uh, minus the heal. Unfortunately, we have no Kiyohime cards to start things off with. But as well as, huh? I may as well just try and build up some MP gauge then for now, and hope they don't really want to go for Artoria. Hi. Cause that would suck. Okay. I'll try and build up some gauge for Artoria as well. It's gonna be a small amount though. Okay, sure. That's fine. That's not uh, as fine. Oh my gosh, a lack of kill human cards again! Man. Now I'm just gonna stun this one. Because the other one might use the sure hat. Okay. If only I could get some kill human cards, that'd be nice. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Cows, we kill him before actually getting some cards now. 
Okay, I'm going to try and kill this one, I think, since I've got quite a few crit stars. Maybe bringing Liz would have been a good idea as well, but eh, retrospect be retrospect, huh? Alright, you know? That was 100% crit, but I still think this will do overall more damage. Because quick cards are kind of weak. Nice! Okay, I just need to get kill every cards for the next one. Because none of these things are fail. Wee! Please? Oh, fuck you, Cadley! Let's go! Gosh, that could have went pear-shaped real quickly, though, if I didn't get any more Kyohimi cards. Oh, great, Soul Eaters! Crazy boys now! You know what? I think Kyohimi has done what she's needed to do. Mm, I could bring in... I could bring in Tamamo. I'm gonna do that. That was the wrong thing to swap, but... Uh, it shouldn't be as bad, right? I was hoping to... Don't misclick on her, but it's fine. Kyoimi could still be a little bit useful even if I was a misclick. She does reach out, so. Two soul eaters, though. With no AoE noble phantasms, though. Shouldn't be too bad, though. I NPC old. Okay, could be worse. Still got some Tamil cards, though, which is fine by me. Plus, we could always curse one of them. That's fine. That's also fine. Okay, so we're gonna curse this one. Please don't mess. Thank you. And we'll just kill this one here. It's just gonna take a wee while. Tammy is a support unit after all. <laughs> so wait, what's the Lancer unit's gonna be then? But so here's in that. Is it gonna be a single target thing, I wonder? I'm not sure. We'll have to see though, huh? Nice Brave Chain to go off though. And the next one we should be able to kill it. Gosh, this is so sluggish. Maybe bringing Vlad would have been a really good idea actually. Just have class advantage against a lot of things. Or a potent friend support. That could have also been an option. Right, cease and desist. Come in. Right. This might be an issue, though. There is no way I'm doing enough damage. There is no way. Not if I need time on my cards. I'm going to get at least one. Yeah. Okay, we'll just see how this goes. Low damage, team! Shouldn't have with something like this. Retrospect would be a strong thing, though. Hopefully it goes for time on though. I could also top up a bit here, which I will. Because there's no way of bonking this. Okay, let's see what it goes for. That is fine! It has an evade, though. I've never seen it use that move before, so I wouldn't know. Is it a one half eight or is it a full turn? Let's see. One turn. Oh, Why'd have to be a one turn to beat? Man! Well. Doesn't really matter what I do, huh? Like, let me pay my card order. Oh, wait, it's a one turn to beat. At least now I know for next time in some good maps to actually bring a higher damage team and probably a friend support rather than a guest one. The guest ones are nice and thematic, but since they have no craft essences and generally aren't fully ascended, it looks like, well, uh, it's not the most useful thing. Okay, Galba and Pikachu here too. Nice. 
I could have maybe gone away with it with just an arch chain though, but eh, it is what it is. What's the boss? Oh, it's just a saber. This is bad. Let's start with Kiyohime. Should have brought in Chloe, huh? What's my... Oh, I can't check my current order, can I? No. <laughs> well, I uh, kill Hime. I hope you can somehow do a lot of damage on a resist. Why did I bring her to me again? I'm trying, I'm trying to think about that. I, I, I guess it's for thematic sake, but... She's not going to be the most useful thing here, I feel. Maybe I'll just use the NP though, it's there. It's not gonna do much damage though. I expect maybe 20k? Yeah, about 20k. Oh, nice! We're trying to get our NP up. Oh, don't kill kill though. Just a random do doing though. Now, as much as I want to believe in you, Artori, I, I, I don't think you're gonna do over 70k damage. But I can hope, right? Let's find out, though. Thank you, she did get her interlude recently. Close. Okay, you did something, Artoria. Nice, nice. But yeah, I probably should have brought Chloe to the front. Because even on neutral, she could have potentially NP'd something. Or I could have just brought an AoE servant. That probably would have been a really good idea. I know Defense is AoE though, right? Yeah, I think she has an AoE NP. What a good retrospective is a thing. Next time we're bringing an AoE servant, though, yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like this Rider one. Hmm, that might be nice. And then we'll just uh, change up the lineup. You go here. And then we bring who else to the front? I guess since there's Berserkers and I may need a single target one, I'll just do this. I guess I could always keep the team like this, just on the off chance. Hmm, yeah. Don't see how this really hurts. It gets them some more bond XP too. Wait, that last enemy was odd. I couldn't see that well with all the sand, but... Yes, odd indeed. It looked like a golem, but the sandstorm made it hard to tell. What about you, Master? Any idea what it was? It was a knight in armor! A huge knight in armor? Oh, I see! It must be easier to identify enemies from a position overlooking the battlefields. Oh, I couldn't see a thing! When you're up close to them, all you could make out in the storm was the silhouettes! Wait! More enemies incoming! My whole body's tingling! Something abnormal's on the way here, Master! Foo! Foo! The number's off the chart! That flopping is its own, it can't be! Dave, no time to sit around! Our next point isn't without a doubt a powerful one! That, that, that was an awfully serious face you made there. Normally you're a smiley lass. Oh gosh, it's chimeras. <laughs> I guess it makes sense why there's berserkers. Okay, let's just do this for now. Because I don't want to get created by these. For the most part. We could probably kill one at the very least. Yeah, given our current situation. If I had some arts cards from Mordred, that would be perfect. But as well as. Guess I could just Brave Chain one? Yeah, Brave Chain one. The other option was getting a lot of NP gauge. There we go. Yeah, that would have been a crap. Okay, arch chain. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. 
Oh, that's a crit, actually. Maybe I should do this thing. Because that one might just die. Come on! Aw, oh, no crit from Chloe. Dang. Well, it still died. It just didn't die the way I wanted it to. Ah. Uh -oh. Oi, oi, oi! I have an excuse to use this, though. That's fine. Okay. I could use them, people. It'd be such a waste on just one target, so let's, uh, not do that. Instead, let's just do this. Ooh! Cheeky crit! Nice, 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 Tammy. So the final one's a cast. Okay, it's not a grip of them. This is a Sphinx! Huh. Interesting. I guess I'll do a Brave Chain of Chloe for now, though. Yeah. I think that's a good idea, then fire off two NPs the next turn. But then again... I only have one arts up for now. I guess I could just do an arts gene. Yeah, I'll do that. Using the battery in retrospective might not be the best idea though, but... This is not going to do too much though. As AOE. Oh, what big 40k! Maybe I really should have brought my flat. Oi, 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 oi! No! Yeah, yeah, attack the rider. You know, the one rider, that's fine. I kind of want to get... Some more NP gauge, I think. Hmm, I could probably get Mordred sorted out and then fire off an NP chain? That seems pretty fun. Yeah, so we'll just stun you for now. Just there's no risk to this whole shtick. And this should get Mordred sorted out. Just for another one. Noise, some crits. Okay. Alright. Unfortunately, we don't have any buffs to go along with this. I'll bet we could delete a turn, use Tammy's NP, get Foxy's wedding. I mean, that could make us a bit harder with Chloe's NP. That could be an idea, yeah. But then that's just kind of a waste of Tammy's Noble Phantasm with just one cooldown in it. Yeah. I mean, it also works the other ones, sure, but we'll just see how this goes. Also, we're going to get a big refill anyway. Plus, we lower his crit chance anyway, so we're not going to be as bad at all. What's your overcharge effect, actually? Chance for... Oh, it just decreases charge. Okay. So I guess I'll just do this then, huh? Oh. Let's go. Pretty decent damage. 81k. Another 27. Time for a chunky refill, though. Ooh. Nice! 50% on two of them. Oh, I can debuff your defense, too. Holy moly. Shame we can't get an arch chain right now, though. So I guess I'll just hold off on Foxy's Wedding for now. Well, more. Just not have a chance I can crit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do this. We should be able to get an arch chain next turn. That would be quite nice to deal with this big boy. That is not so nice, though. Okay, we don't get an arch chain, we just get a time of much. <laughs> Well, wow, wishful thinking, huh? Mm, or just Barry doesn't come back soon enough either. I guess I'll still hold on to some of those things just on the off chance, huh? Yeah. 
We'll just do this for now. Try and get Koei's NP charged up a bit. Hopefully it doesn't keep debuffing us, though. Actually, hopefully this thing doesn't have an NP battery if it's on. Okay, at least we've got one additional arts card for the turn, and that's actually perfect for the future, in fact. So let's just heal up Chloe a bit. Or we could just evade. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I'll heal up a bit. I mean, next turn we're going to be able to curse. But evading still might be a good idea. Next turn the thing should die anyway, though, right? Yeah, so we'll just evade here, just in case if it's got a battery. Because it would be bad if this thing could just randomly charge up his NP gauge. Oh man. Okay, now we should be perfectly fine here though. Especially if we buff the heck out of Chloe. No point using Tamil's NP here as well, because we're planning to just do a lot of damage here. Although we could just curse on the off chance, I think. Yeah, yeah. Actually, maybe we should still use Tammy's NP because we don't have the uh, code cast. I guess we will, huh? Plus, we could just charge here anyway. Yeah, time for more arse chains! Junkie again! Not so chunky, but hey, charge loss! I'll take it. Oi, 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 oi! No bashing the Tammy, but hey, we could do another one, though! Why not? Have a kill time! Whoop. No. No, I don't want to do a bad address for Chloe. <laughs> Oh, dang, that gives quite a bit of bond XP, don't it? Well, I'm expecting to get quite a few bond levels. Well, I say quite a few, but probably just Tamamos. Unless I change up my team a bit. Here and there. Yeah. Oh, wow, a round of Berserker XP card. The Scarab's nice, though. I may need those in the future. We defeat the giant life form, except, uh... Except we didn't eliminate it. It only appeared that way. You see, that was amongst the most powerful kind of demonic beasts. A phantasmal that is perhaps even stronger than Dragon King. I knew it, so that was indeed a sphinx. A defined beast from ancient Egypt that has a man's face and a lion's body. Of all the things. Yeah, that damage we just inflated was nothing more than a yawn to such a creature. It will recover in the blink of an eye. Let's get out of here. It's too tough to go up against a sphinx by ourselves. But where can we go? I wish we could get some kind of data from the doctor about this area. Oh, we don't have to worry about that. Scan the area is just a piece of cake for me, you know. Alright, I found a source of water to the west of here. Not only that, it seems there's a city there. Let's go there first. You need to rest too, right Dave? War sounds really good now. I might be a bit parched. Yes, I agree with you, Senpai. Let's look for some cold water. Especially because of those sloppy fights. Of course it was a big old single target fight with a broad alien rider. But hey, plus one quartz. I'll take it. And there's already a free quest there. What's that one about? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I'm feeling like a bunch more Sphinx. But let's see what's in the outer desert. It's not a free node. Dang it, this half AP is really going to make a difference. Because that would have been 20. 
But right, so just assassins, eh? So bringing a caster servant of sorts would be nice. Preferably a potential AoE one on the off chance. Like this Neocris. But hasn't event C. But still it's a Neocris. Man, I still want to get one of you so badly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, Elizabeth Halloween, though, is kind of tempting. I haven't really seen you in action yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bring her. Okay. And then I guess I'll bring my nursery rhyme and we'll just have a bit of an AoE arts team? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be fine. Don't really need to change my craft distance either because I'm not really going for crits. I know that Elizabeth Halloween's. Or Elizabeth Caster, sorry, because there's two Halloween Elizabeths. Uh, has a Buster NP, but she mostly has Arts cards. Again, I've yet to actually use user, though. But anyway, Section 1! Welcome by the sand, 2 out of 2! We've covered about 10 kilometers so far! Master, just hang on for a little bit longer. Or would you like me to carry you? If you ride on my shield, then I could just pull it. Or we could just surf on it! <laughs> no, it's just the... For some reason, I can't breathe. Just as I thought, the mana density in the atmosphere is too high. Here, Dave, take this. A portable oxygen canister? When did you... It's a man... Um, it's a mana blocking mask. I was about to say a man blocking mask. Well, okay, I guess it's not entirely wrong. It's going to be blocking a part of your man face. I made in a hurry. The atmosphere here is too harsh for humans. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Still, a little thank you would be nice. Come on, shower me with your admiration. Either way, we'll be at the water source soon. You can see that building beyond the sandstorm, right? That must be a temple. If we can at least get in then, and there then, we should be able to... Sorry, forget everything I just said. This place is still good. We have to turn back. Why? We were so close. Well, we are, but I can see countless shadows in the area. Between here and the temple. Look closely. Is it the... What? Oh, wait. A bunch of shadows. Assassins. No way! Is that a bunch of Hassans? I stopped counting after 20! You're right. They're all wandering around. I wonder what they are. They're the same kind of sphinxes we encountered earlier. They're roaming around the temple freely. Oh! Oh! <gasps> It's suicidal to pass through here. Let's find a different shelter. By the way, I got a pretty good idea who's residing in that temple. We can't enter on our own, so let's look for another route. Hi, if need be, I'll even supply my universal secret cottage like you might see in games. So rest easy. It's comfortable up to free you see so... Huh? I think I just saw some shadows heading this way from the temple. Sphinxes? Alright, let's make a run for it. I thought I glimpsed the skull mask as well, but whatever. Skull mask? A skull mask? Mm -hmm. Master, is something bothering you? Whoa, they're moving way too fast. See, Dave, I told you to move. Huh? For Sphinxes, their magical energy level is too low. In this number, humans? Hmm, <laughs> they can't pray fast. Sending soldiers after us, eh? <laughs> How clever of you, Sun King. Those monsters will dare to hurt us as long as we have the queen. But the humans are different. She has no influence over them. There's no time. Get rid of them. But let one of them live. It will be a valuable source of intel. Enemy sight. I'm counting ten of them. All human. One of them is carrying a bound woman. Senpai, your orders. Fight back, Bash. But gently, hit them with the flats of your blades. Right. Please leave it to me, Master. You know, the flat belt of your shields. Like in Orleans. <laughs> So wait, they're just generic assassin books then? What the? No, okay, I said generic assassins, but then yeah, okay. Hi! You guys are the Hassans, right? Oh. <laughs> That's, that, that one is awfully muscular too. Is your name Gonzo <laughs> or something? Actually, no, it's just a test. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be able to kill Mobile in a turn right now, I think. Yeah. Oh, self-modification. 
Okay, we're killing that one. Oh, large chain though. I'll take that. Okay, noise. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so... Does this always a bit for even having an MP battery? Oh, wait! You actually have a skill that provides stars? Nice. I haven't leveled up my own, so... I don't know where our actual skills are. Guts and stars. Maybe I should have it with my Crit Craft Essence then, huh? Because she's got like a pseudo 2030 built in. And I'm guessing it's just a mana burst. Yup, mana burst indeed. Okay. Neat. Okay, so I have enough MP for Nursery Rhyme, if I use the battery. A bit too much, in fact, but as well as I could even just do this, in fact. I just get Elizabeth's ready. Ooh, MP chain is all, all going. Oh, then there's three waves, so I guess I'll just use one this wave and then another the subsequent? Guess that's an idea, huh? Five of them? Okay, then. Sure, sure, sure. Guess we'll use uh, Nursery Rhymes, yeah. Because she has a battery, at least. Two more here. We could use Lizzie's, or we could go for an Arch Chain. I guess I'll just use Lizzie's Noble Fan. Um, but there might be a big beefy boy. Let me see how much this gives. Yeah, that's not enough. Great, if we just kill these the normal way, we could always save up our NP for the subsequent one. So I think we'll do it the normal way. Because I don't know if it's going to be like a boss wave or another multitude of them. Because either way, we're going to be using Noble Phantasms, eh? Okay. Just this fella to go. Big Muscle Boy came back for more, though, huh? Oi! Right? <laughs> Doesn't really matter what I do now. Because he's going to die either way. By die, I mean it's, it's gonna pace! Because they keep failing! Okay, so what's the last wave? Oh, it's just. Oh, of course it's that one. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. I may as well wait for a turn, huh? Yeah. Just to get Foxy's wedding back. Also, I may be able to get a nice Nurse Rhyme Brave Chain. I mean, I could also use Nurse Rhyme's No Phantasm here. No. No, 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 no. I'll just do this. I'll do this. I was going to say, what did you have against this? But I guess not enough, huh? Right, so how many stars is this going to be? I do have a Nursery Rhyme Brave Chain that I could use. Which is very tempting. I think I'm going to do that instead. Because crits, they, they can hurt. Potentially. Okay. Yep, and I've got a pretty high chance. Let's just do this. Come on, you wee much kid! Oh, big damage there! 
Come on, girl, he's a crack! <laughs> oh, evade as well! Man! That's a one turn evade, right? But of course it is. Well, it is what it is, huh? I thought I got one crit, though. Oh. Okay. Time for a Liz to shine, though. It's just the same as the default is <laughs> these noble phantasm. <laughs> but it's nice to see nonetheless. Very quick and to the point too. Right! So we managed to find off those assassins. Or should I say assassins? Okay, that was a terrible pun. <laughs> At least for the first bout, but I think this shall be a good ending point for now because it's getting pretty lengthy. So, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Fate's Grand Order, and I'll see you all next time as we continue on our quest to fix up this singularity. Ta-ta for now.